How's it going, everybody? It's Friday, and it's a nice day out today. It's not too hot. It's not raining. It's a little overcast, but, nah, eh, whatever, right? I mean, you know, we unfortunately didn't get to see Friar Schmagolski and Cam McLeod's autopsy. I wanted to know why those guys actually did that. It's too bad, though. Like, they didn't. They got those kids killed apparently five people, right? And we never even got to see what they actually did. Unfortunately, uh, we never will know exactly why they did it. It was hard, weird. They just went mental and did it. So, it's hard to say. But, you know, at least in like a couple of days, we'll know like for sure like what killed them and if those bodies are actually theirs and whatever, right? Hopefully, they actually figure it out. Like, someone saw something and could say, like, this is what I saw, and, you know. I wanted to hear them be interrogated, though, and say, like, this is why we did it. Or, or goofball supporters. <sighs> or they did it because they're, like, crazy. <sighs> We're never really going to know because we can't hear it from them, right? <sighs> oh, well. Unfortunately... They're taking their secrets to the grave. I was a little puked. But whatever. <clears throat> it's getting worse and worse. There's more and more people that are actually doing things like this. Going crazy and killing people. You see the mass shootings in Gilroy, California at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. There's been all over the States, all over Canada, all over the world, man. Like, it's just sad. Why do people kill each other so much for nothing? <sighs> oh, my allergies today are bothering me. Oh. I'm gonna cut grass outside, excuse me. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys, but anyways, who cares though? Like you just gotta live your life in peace and not let things bug you too much. It's just you know This is kinda how things are sometimes. Just try to stay safe and stay away from crazy lunatics like that. Protect yourselves at all times. Oh my god. Oh that grass man. But yeah guys, you can definitely keep yourself safe by basically just staying away from crazy people and if any like keeping people at least five feet away from you, protecting yourselves, get some bear maze. You know, lots of different things you can do. You can keep you can keep safe by keeping like I don't know, tools on you in your car. Or like a handful of sand in your pocket in a bag to throw in people's eyes. I'm not even kidding. I've done it. When I was a kid, some weirdos attacked me around Edmonds area in Burnaby and they threw sand in their eyes. Some weirdo, just some nutcases that were lurking around the neighborhood that weren't from here. So yeah, you know, like when they came at me, I just threw, I went like this and sand went right in their eyes. And they couldn't really see. They didn't have a gun or a knife or anything, unfortunately. So, fortunately, I was lucky enough to not have to deal with that. And I got away. And then, yeah, you know, it actually will stop your opponent. Sand and eyes. It's a cheap one. You can even do the Indian trip, the sweep, you know. It's not really an Indian trip, but that's what an old native guy told me. He was funny. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you guys can do a lot better than like, you know, get, just getting laying down and dying. People don't want to die and yet there's all these weirdos running around hurting people. Ah. But yeah, you guys don't got to put up with that. Protect yourselves at all costs, you know. At least we live in Burnaby and like, and then and, and BC, like in Canada, it's nowhere near as violent as the rest of the world. I'm thankful, I'm thankful for that, you know. Well, anyways, take care of yourselves and stay safe. Have a good day. Peace.